Hey, my census, how's it going? Sensor here, and welcome to Until Dawn. Finally, we got this all set up, ready to rock and roll. So let's jump into it. Okay, yes. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane. From tiny butterfly devastating. Dun, dun, dun. Right. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. <clears throat> Choose your actions carefully. So basically, don't get people killed. Here we go. You know a game's good if it starts in a log cabin. Come on. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Little hide and seek action. Shh. <clears throat> Mike. Mike. It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Yes. Hey, did you see that? <clears throat> Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. All right, let's figure out these roles, huh? All right, character traits: Beth, honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic, curious. So she's good friends with Hannah. Find out what these others. Yeah. Something glowing over here. Yeah. A drink. Oh. I'm telling you, the right stick. Jeremiah Craig. Number 12. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us mm. all. So someone likes to have a little drink. Yeah. You look so damn hot in that shirt. <laughs> God, what did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. I'm glad you can make it. So they're playing a prank. 
prank on Hannah. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. <sighs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, boy. We've all seen Carrie. Oh, my God. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh, my God. Matt. He's got the selfie what stick. What are you doing here? <laughs> uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand, Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, oh, damn. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah. Wake Josh, find others. Uh, let's wake Josh. Josh! Josh! Fuck! Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! <coughs> What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. <sighs> oh, shit! Oh, great. <sighs> Quick times. Best. <laughs> follow footprints, follow noise. We're going to follow the footprints. Like this. Whoa. All right, so I want to walk a little faster. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 What do we got? Yeah. A death totem. Okay, totem prophecies. Black death. The possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies will be true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Hey. So, I don't know if we want to find those. Huh? What's that? Hannah! Like a fireball. Okay. What the hell was that? My sediments exactly. Hannah! Hannah. Hello? There she is. Hannah! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. 
Someone's gonna trip. It's like a horror movie. Come on. Drop your phone. as well. <laughs> so the prophecy came true. The analyst, Dr. A.J. Hill. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Jeez, man. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. In the card. Scarecrow? So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Oh. Yeah, happy. The farm. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Peaceful. Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Okay. Sorry about that. Get back to the story here. Yes, it would. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? I wouldn't care. Uh, a level-headed response. <laughs> but everyone is frightened of something. Uh, I wonder what it is that does frighten you. I really do. Sorry, we're out of time. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? All right. Yeah, I wouldn't mind staying in that farm.
Until dawn. Here we go. So that was the prologue. So it looks like Hannah died. All because of a prank. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. But they feel awful. And somebody's in therapy over it. I'm guessing it's probably Mike. I know if I was him, I'd feel awful. Uh, sorry, guys. Looks like we can't skip this, so. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining wow. us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! So Josh is their brother. Now, if I was him, I'd be pretty ticked off. I mean, he was passed out drunk. Come to to find out your sisters were dumped off a cliff? All because of a prank? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be pretty upset. As far as fears go, I think the only thing that scares me is bees. That's it. I don't like bees. I've been stung enough. I just don't like them. There's something creepy about them. I think I'm scared of anything else. Blackwood Pines. Oh yeah, right, like a bus runs up there. Hm. Friendship. Ten hours until dawn. Alright. Oh, jeez. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Considerate, adventurous, diligent. Hello? So 
Someone there? Pat the cable car station. 2102. So this is going to be a game where we're definitely going to want to explore and make sure that we find it. I don't want to miss anything. Especially those totems, because the totems are going to kind of give us a little insight into what could possibly happen. Or what's going to happen. The gate's busted. Climb over. All right, let's check her stats here. Let's see, character traits. Honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic. So she's brave, charitable, honest. She's pretty much neutral with everybody in the group. All right, so we got to climb over this gate. Here. Did I not look at that? Oh, what? <sighs> Damn it. Uh, from Josh Washington, sent December 28th, 2014 to Chris. Uh, changes the terminus and take 38 towards the calorie. Ask the driver to stop. Black with pines, otherwise he won't. Yo, how do I get there again? Probably be a quick time. That's kind of cool. There's a lot of quick time events to the game. I like that. I do. Really easy to mess up, though. If you're not paying attention. Who's this stalking? Oh. They said there's a mental hospital up in the mountains, so it could be wackos. Hey, little fella. You hungry? When the don't move huh? icon is on the screen, the wireless controls. <laughs> Cutie. Alright, that was easy. Sure what objective I can see. Alright, let's move a little quicker here. Oh, birds. What do we got here? Okay, these are about the totems. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Okay, let's read the right here. It's easier. Tribes who once lived on these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicates indicated the nat nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance, yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune, white butterflies brought dreams of luck and fortune. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking up a totem and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of... What we got here? Guidance. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Okay, so that was something. I think that was Mike, I believe. And a bird. Oh. Oh, I see a bag over here. Chris? You here? The bag's here. Where are you? Not in the bag, are you? Hello. What? 
do we have here? Uh, don't snoop. Close the bag. Maybe I shouldn't vote for that crazy stuff. Yeah. Butterfly effect appears when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. Chris, oh, man. Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Effective humorous. Okay. Oh, I don't know what methodical so is, but... I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. That is something. Okay. Follow him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wanted. Oh, look at this. Blue found. Nice. Uh, Milgram Victor. We'll six male. American height six one. deuce. Like Last six known address, Blackwood well. Pines. Yeah, wanted in connection with the first degree arson here. offense, as well as here. various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. That stands for the Blackwood Provincial Mounted Council. Okay. So that's like the Mounties. Whatever. Ta da! Pretty rad, right? What's this? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Yeah. Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Here goes. Use the right stick to aim. Press R2 to shoot. That's pretty easy. Wow. Why are we wasting bullets? Yes, it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Squirrel! Oh, I'm not gonna shoot a squirrel. I don't. Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Oh, hey, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Take the gun. Take the gun. Okay, now we're Chris. Kind of cool. Switch around. I do like how we're leaving footprints. That is great. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Oh. Gentlemen. I wish I had friends that own like a resort on a mountain. If you own a resort and you want me to come hang out, just let me know. I'll be there. I'm hanging out on the mountain. And I thought the car was closed. Oh no, Chris. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of we got, yeah. the shooting range. How long is 
Blackwood Pines Hotel and Sanatorium. It's a big mountain. Now that's the mental hospital. For a healthy body and mind. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. I only bought a mountain. Oh boy. I was hoping we'd see somebody. I think it's here. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Yeah. Like going to the prom. Yes. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I. Kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Yeah. That's... Hey, bro, good talk. <laughs> you know it's what? Let's up. just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Hey. Yeah. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, trusting, reverent, confident. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. All right, so the whole thing is her. She got them apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. All right. Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My okay. goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, plain insist. Just insist. I'm... Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. 
totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? Mm. Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Wow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right Emily. when the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. I don't think it would have been like a pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Vicious, active, motivated. You know. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. You guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Threaten. Welcome. Let's welcome. Let's, let's play nice. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Uh-oh. Whatever. All right. Fine. Let's not assume. It's important, I guess I can pack I think she's gonna go meet up with Mike. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Yep, I think she's gonna go meet up with old Mike. They got everything on this mountain. <sighs> Ashley has a crush on Chris. Inquisitive. Forthright. <laughs> Emic. Okay, so she's a brain. She's the smart one of the group, I guess. Lodge grounds. 2132. Ooh. Ooh, what do we got here? Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh, got a feeling. Oh! oh God. <laughs> hey. Oh. hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Jeez Louise, Well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, wow. Well, man, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? 
See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, oh. it, Let me check it out. No. Uh. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. I have a feeling. Jessica. Read book check. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, great. Oh, man. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are great. you hiding, little chickadee? Oh, ah! Hi. Hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Come on. Hey, Mike! Boom! Shakalaka! Okay. No, you got me. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna hit the bird. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. She's got a cannon, this girl. And then what? Oh, no more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> uh, gotcha. It's done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Boy. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the snowball queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Whatever. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could yes, stay out is. here pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Status update. So, literally, every single thing that you do, everything, even little things, Changed the whole outlook. It's crazy. Oh man, this guy. Hello again. Hello. And how are we feeling? Not ready for you to get up in my face, buddy. It seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time. We're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up I have anxiety. Book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Uh, 
on the dude. Looks kind of creepy. Crowds. Uh, bounty. Either snakes, uh, neither knives. Just full of diseases. Clowns, I guess. Okay. Or not really, but oh. did that startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I love thunderstorm. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Cockroaches, clowns, an awful. <laughs> That's some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Looking forward to it. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like a recap. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! Shut First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. Yeah. For, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Oh, son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time Chapter I climb. Two, it. jealousy. Yeah. It feels the same to me. Josh, Anna and Beth's brother, thoughtful, loving, relax. I cannot believe this guy is just so cool about having everybody back up here after the prank they pulled ended up. Well, technically, his sisters are missing, but we all know what happened. I think they're alive. They fell like what a thousand feet. All right. Well, you know what, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting into this game, and I'm gonna try to do like thirty-minute episodes. 
as we go. And being that we just started a new chapter, I think we should just end it there. So subscribe today to join the census if you're not already. Follow me on social media. And if you could, give this video a like. You don't know how much it means to me. It really means a lot. All right. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.